Hello everyone, this is Movie and Game Lover 98, and today I'll be doing a DVD review on this Thomas and Friends DVD, the very first one to introduce the Jack and the Soda Construction Company spin-off series, and that's called On Sight with Thomas. So yeah, let's get started, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So basically, here's what the front of the DVD looks like. The history on On Sight with Thomas, it was the very first US Thomas release to come out on just DVD only, finally, on August 14th, 2006, and you can find the original 2006 version alone, or in the Tolly Thomas Volume 5 box set, with sing-along and stories and hooray for Thomas, and yeah, it sometimes comes in a wooden train bonus pack with the wooden rally jack or rickety, and yeah, it was even... Reissued by Lionsgate in 2009, and you can find the 2009 Lionsgate print by itself, or in the double feature with Races, Rescues, and Runaways, which I didn't mention in that review, but I'm mentioning it here, or you can find it in a double feature with Thomas's Trusty Friends, which I'll review that release a different time. And, yeah, and then it was even sometime re-released by Universal, sometime in the 2010s decade, probably in 2016 by Universal, in the double feature, with surprise, surprise, its sequel, Thomas's Trusty Friends. And that was pretty much it. So yeah, that was all the history, now let's get into the actual review. So basically, here's what the front of the DVD looks like. It's in a red background, which is kind of cool, like, yeah, just a plain red, because you know, some Thomas releases had a cool red design. Anyway, Thomas Friends logo, on site with Thomas and other adventures. Well, yeah, because the actual episode is on this release. You'll see in a minute. But you'll see what's interesting about the episodes. Anyway, a promotional picture of Thomas and Jack. You can see Thomas is backwards and a cool render of Jack. But you can notice there's a little bit of pink on his arm, on Jack's arm. I don't know why, but I guess they screwed that up or they just, it just looked like that. Anyway, a snapshot down below. From Jack Jumps In, which doesn't make sense. That was just on New Friends for Thomas. Because, well, I'll explain in a minute. Like, later. Anyway, here's the front. Here's the spine, which this is the original 2006 release. Anyway, here's the back. Thomas Friends logo, making tracks to great destinations. Two snapshots, and they're both taken from the episode of Friend, Friend in Need, yeah. Which, that episode is not on this release. Your blurb about what's on the release... And your story stops are A Visit from Thomas, Jack Owns Up, On Sight with Thomas, the title of the release, which is strangely third instead of being the first. Because I guess it didn't want to go first. Anyway, Percy's Scary Tale, Kelly's Windy Day, and A Happy Day for Percy. Bonus features Character Gallery, which contains Thomas, Percy, and the Pack characters. Real Long Story, Down at the Docks. And two sing-along songs, The Work Song and Engine Roll Call. Two bonus DVD games, Build a Dino and Trivia Challenge, and DVD ROM games, Sodor Memory Match. Anyway, yeah, link to the Thomas Friends website and legal copyright information out at the bottom. And this is 35 minutes. And interesting about this release is that on the box on the Wooden Train bonus pack of this, it says that George Carlin is the narrator, but all these episodes are narrated by Michael Brandon. Maybe they couldn't render a storyteller Michael Brandon bubble? I don't know. Anyway, here's the disc, squished up version of the poster, and this looks like Lego Lover 117's copy without the case. So, yeah, shout out to him, because he still has this release, just missing the case and the booklet. Anyway, here's the booklet. All aboard for exciting adventures with all of your Island of Sodor friends. Main menu, pick a story. Funny game shed, build a dino, read along, sing along, which, that's... That's backwards. Why is it in roll call first, but the work song is second? Because you know in the actual program, the work song goes after the on with Thomas episode itself and before Percy's Scary Tale, and engine roll call is at the end. And there's also no room for the Sodor, well, the trivia challenge game. Yeah, in the character gallery. And on the back, collect all of your favorite Thomas and Friends DVDs and videos. DVDs right there, saying you can also find them on VHS, which is strange because... I thought this was done. They stopped doing VHSs in 2006, but who cares? Anyway, books for every Thomas fan. Some books, which, yes, I remember Railway Rhymes as a kid. I think I remember this one, The Teletime with Thomas, but it was a different 
It was a Christopher Audrey late 90s style of it. And Railway Series, of course. And the, yeah, Going Places book. So, yeah. I think this is a nice Thomas DVD. It's the very first DVD to introduce the Jack and the Sodor Construction Company, the spin-off series, because the two pilot episodes we got before these first six spin-off series episodes were Jack jumps in and a friend in need. And yeah, the, like those two from season six were the were the pilot episodes to the this spin-off series. And you know, they're just all awesome. Well, I guess I'll just tell them one by one since I do with every Thomas release. You know, a visit from Thomas where it introduces us to the first of the new pack members. I think one of them would be Buster the Steamroller. And you know, they're making foundations for the school area and and Oliver the Excavator, not Oliver the Engine, because we have two Olivers apparently. He finds a dinosaur skeleton to put on display. Jack owns up where they're trying to be careful around a busy warehouse construction and Jack ends up being sent away because of a for owning up to what he really did on purpose or just an accident. And of course the episode itself on site with Thomas, the first appearance of Patrick, I think that's the only appearance of Patrick where he brags he's the most important and yada yada yada. And this is the first appearance of Max's twin Monty. Because in the two pilot ser spin-off series episodes, we only had Max. But this is the first instruction of Monty. And they look similar, just Monty has the number 16, Max is the number 15. And you know, they're bragging that they're the most important, as, as well as Patrick. And yeah, I, I, like, back as a kid, ooh, I hated the ending. Miss Jenny was really, really mad at them. I mean, I don't hate it now, it's just, it was so strange, like, why were, the, why were Jack and Alfie upset, too, when they weren't doing anything? They were minding their own business. Percy Scary Tale, the only Halloween spinoff series episode. Well, I mean, yes, because it is almost Halloween after all. Kelly's Windy Day, where Kelly overcomes his fear of the wind, trying to rescue Isabella. And a happy day for Percy, where... Oh, sorry. And, you know, where Byron wants to get cheered by getting so many well-dones by doing a job well done. And he does it when he rescued Alfie when he was stuck in the mud. So yeah, this is the great way to start the spinoff series. This is the way to go watch the spinoff series completely. Because, you know, we have... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had the two pilot season six episodes, like I said. And this is the first way to see the main episodes of the spinoff series. Because we had a show, pro kind of a spinoff to Thomas, just called Tugs. But, you know... They're similar to that. And yeah, these are all fun to watch. The spin-off series come to life. So yeah, I say every Thomas fan in general has to have On Sight with Thomas, the way to watch the spin-off spin series come to life on video. Yeah. So anyways, yeah. I say to you guys out there, the Thomas fans in general, you should check out On Sight with Thomas, the first one of the spin-off series, and maybe you'll like them all. Well, kind of. So anyways, yeah, that's going to be it for this DV review, everyone, on On Site with Thomas. So if you guys have any questions, just like, comment, rate, and subscribe below this video and share your thoughts on this DV review of On Site with Thomas. So anyways, yeah, that's going to be it for this DV review, everyone. So see you guys next time. This is Movie and Game Lover 98 signing off. And stay tuned for more Thomas DV reviews coming soon. And hopefully they'll have something in store as well as some exciting stuff, including this one as well.